Duda ako kasi kay Navi na magiging sweetheart partner ni Peter sa Fontaine or maybe anything else kasi Navi ako kasi tang I came here several times with my father when I was little but stop eating your character na yung... I hope the food here will be to your taste Oh don't worry we haven't eaten at a hotel like Echo. this in a while <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already Oh, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Oh, oh. Everything looks so good. And lasagna. You and Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life. Why, of course. Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? Well, uh... <laughs> Then I'll still bring everyone, albeit with only one dish per table. You uh, sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. Mm. Oh, true. So Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. Chinese magic trick incident. <laughs> I didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability. It's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough. Which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through, where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> it's all right. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal. So, I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Hmm, I see. So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Yeah, we heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, unique? ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? Guess that's Spina di Rosula's boss for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, What's on your mind? One way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play. Don't you think? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. <sighs> All right, here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. 
Then, wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as so, I can finally get some teaser, sleep. Yung weird din na wala chato siyang makeup sa teaser. Sabi nila ganina na yung makeup kit sa laro. Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is, we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Hmm, tama. Ah, valid Laman point. Kasi na, I overlooked na ako that kami. part. I was just thinking kami. about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. <laughs> all right, all right, no more joking around. Huh. Perhaps you could. Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. You mean, that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot now. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Huh? Uh, was this your drink? <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like to order another? Sip ka naman pa yung kung kanin ng tiyong nino mo. No, it's fine. We're just about done here. All right. Honestly, Pima wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. Uh. Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here then. If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. Oh, so full. Paimon can barely float anymore. Nah, that would be so... Yeah, that would be so... Normal. You know, like you. Hmm. Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with... Hey, Navia! What are you doing over there? Where are Navia? Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! See you tomorrow, Navia. <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well... If you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your request the highest priority. Alright, uh, give me your contact number. Uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. Bye. Bye. Uh, I gotta read what it says on the other. We took to Araneas might have been the last one. The shame. Hmm. The voice Looks again. Like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Yeah. Oof. That's kind of spook. The shame. The shame. Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might. Huh? Hang on. Hey, Traveler! Stop walking! Uh, I got no choice. No choice. Got to follow. An oceanid! Vache, are you my dear Vache? Is this. Wait. Is this an NPC yes, back in the. Do you know Vache? You know where my love is. Is this an NPC from a previous patch update? I wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry. I, I do not know. Uh, I don't think there are my more than one. Like they have been washed away like ocean a here. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since? Yes, Amen. that is what I was once. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I also remember going. 
No matter where I went, Vashe would go with me. But now... No! Our reap, the thought of me gives him no thought. If you meet Vashe, perhaps that is so. If only I could have comforted him. Is that what you call it? It was a state of neither... I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time. And only... I think I hear your companion. Farewell then. I am... I need to find Vashi. Oh no! Pantig mo na! Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamex. Florand? Florand. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take 50 years for me to match Tim was up if it were me. <laughs> all right. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time! Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Like a dream come really? true to just wanna oh, be nice. with All you All thanks to you grabbing three. my drink by mistake. Girl, it's plain uh, to see that yeah. you're the young. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Alright. My possible love. My Go. father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they called Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Aww. Oh no. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, Something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he must like Aya that, the door that himself, also loses his, his, her parents. Even after being seriously injured, to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. <sighs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? If anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I 
also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in. But I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. So Navia is much like Ayaka who lost her parents. So ibig sabihin... I think na nadoda ako kay Navio ko nung gago niya sunod sa akin eh. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Don't worry, Navia. Hyman knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Miss Koran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callis... Yes, that is our understanding. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? Alright, anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. Two thousand years later. <laughs> I must slept so well. Where did the other two go? I sent them back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paima gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. But, never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Wait! So you didn't sleep at all? <laughs> How could I after yeah, having such light. critical new evidence appear? Uh, guess Paima wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? <sighs> Unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But... That does prove that this Vache person is a key witness in the incident. Does that mean we're too late, though? No. There is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten, no matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Nouvellet. A place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met is one of the young women who went missing recently. We should be able to find some related information there. So Nervalet maintains an archive of case files? Whew. Guess that's the hard-working Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Um... Hmm? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Traveler? What if it was really just a dream? Is that so? All right then. <laughs> Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. Hmm. And what are you trying to say? Miss are you trying to console me? Ex no. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, you even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a hu- If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. 
Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that... Oh, well. In any case, my apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Right. Navia, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh. Rain. It's raining. So it's a bean yan. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. How strange. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. What is it? Did you think of something? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. Oh? Wait. I, you don't mean... So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah! And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities! I really think I found a true genius for a partner. Mm. <laughs> You're completely right! How did I not connect the dots earlier? Alright, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure! Yeah! We're gonna make progress for sure this time! Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? Mm. Great. Let's go then. <sighs> Who could it be? Alright. Time to our analysis. You know? If you think everything through, Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Could we be missing other suspects? Malus didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? <sighs> Malus has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well considered. When he laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. The suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs, has the means to dispatch Mecca to assassinate us, and possesses significant intellect and foresight. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. Yes, Malus did. We need far more solid proof before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. Oh, I've been looking for you. Huh? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did some- Yeah. News came from Araneus just after you left. Wasn't that place built specifically for- I know, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui harbinger called Tartaglia. So she chilled? Well, I think I had a major suspect to chilled. Well, let's see what? and find him. Is that? Yeah, we know. Well, wait. How? That's what I thought was strange. Of if the charge against him stands, then it'll... right, because then. Yeah. Hmm. I am. Uh. Um. Uh huh? Split up? What do you mean? Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Araneus, leaving his home base wide open. You're right. This is our best opportunity. 
All right then, let's do this. I'll stall them at the Opera House and charge Marcel as the true culprit. I won't have any chance of making that charge stick though, unless we find more evidence. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence to me. We'll help you, just like you helped us in Lenny's trial. Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. I'm right. Nice. Ah, hello, uh, Silver. Made in our box. When did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson. It's our hope. <laughs> see you then. Okay. So, si Marcel yung ma isa sa major suspects natin. It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Do you accept the charge that... To be perfectly honest, however, I did hear that... Pe In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that ch... I've got to admit, that's one of the mo When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Hey! Don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. Oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to... Then why don't you duel me too? Uh, uh, Alas, it would appear that communic... In that case, let me exp... <laughs> that case had nothing to do with him! You've got the wrong man! Huh? What's going on? <sighs> why is she interjecting again? <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui... Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceed, but that was an exception rather... Oh, please! Did you... Uh, we can put the discussion aside for now. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default. Correct? Oh. Uh, you, so, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Now then, Miss Navia. Who that person is... Okay. So will see Marcel. Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere! Huh? What Confrérie? Never heard of them in my- I've heard of them, but weren't they s- Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that charging someone isn't- And if the charge fails, depend- Yes. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, members of the guards, please contact Mr. Mas- <laughs> Mr. Marcel, you will not re Ah! Apologies, sir. I think an attorney won't be necessary. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived... I would like to take everyone back to three years ago. To the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating- Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your- Come on! Why would I- If that's enough to make me a suspect- I... Uh, I think there's no point- Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory of- I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the co During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callus, holding a gun while his acquaintance... The guard's investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel. So... These are the known facts of... Okay, we need to kill them all. The one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason... Uh, in truth... The third person sh after that, the true <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. However, we should revisit the case now that- Alright, now it's our turn to fix this. So ito yung mga tao scenario. This, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. This is the true version of events. Ah, so that's what happened. Wait, you're telling me something is dangerous? What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective... Mr. Marcel, you are... Ah, but I think I agree with everything. Uh, then, may I ask some questions? One, 
Do you have the... I'm afraid... <laughs> if I may not have the evidence with me, we should be able to find... Considering the serial disappearances, can that make sense to me? Why do I feel... Maybe she's scared of embarrassing her... Alternatively... My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. Then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been... I thought about this too. And the ant... The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret. My father could have exposed it for all to see. At that time, Spina... What was certain, however... Was that it would boss once told me that the What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit broke... of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you mean to say... Your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Do you have an- Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent, Clorand. I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so... During the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes, I did. As a champion duelist, I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives in my line of work. Oh. I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live, or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your f Right? What she said was fascinating. Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial? Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. And at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. So that's why you suspected me. <sighs> I'm used to it, though. No need to appeal to Painter. I won't try to refute your point. On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Uh... Know what she can say to that? I know that even with that, alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder? But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd all- Do you know what the biggest flaw in- I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, in addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work, but the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Uh, I do apologize, de Moselle. No, it's not your- Is there anything else you'd like to say? You can also take a look at my border entry records, 
or ask my friends and family, could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anger? Seems like she got the wrong guy. At this rate, Nagi will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of it? He wished for you to become once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings and to stop rushing headlong. This isn't just about me, and it never has been. The biggest difference between the people whose families were destroyed by Sintham, many people's images, and whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Huh. Oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised. You'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Oh, there are some different types of fighting. Illusion shattered. Whirling snow. Oh, doggy. Allow me. Whirling snow. Got my mascot. Got auto jack. Damn it. Hold on, guys. My mascot auto check. Whoa, the floor is going up. Is it because of this mechanism in the middle? That guy really prepared a lot of stuff for this place. Give me a tip, just eat off. Can I do that? Hydro sigil. Oh. Yeah, I know about that Raymond sigil. Thinks we need to go up, but Raymond doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. It's gonna be hard. So we're gonna go deep underwater for. Hold on, I'll just switch to Cockney first. Go deep. Find it. Oh, so that is how you do it. Yeah, yeah mechanism. But then I'll go up a car well. The water level is rising! Now we can swim to the top! But this is still a ways away from where we need to go. Go up now? Pero kailan pa natin ng... Pal... Bawad pa yung water para makakakas pa tayo. Oh, marami pa kalaban. Billowing 
Ouch, 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 I need one more. Illusion shattered. Take flight. Huh. Rest and leave him. Coming to our art. Sumetsu. Grabe. Mas ko nag, nag auto jack na naman. Kina tumas ka na sa third level. Kusap atong bubukas. Let's all out on this one. To the spotlight. Allow me. There is no escape. My apologies. Yeah. Shit. Illusion shattered. Hold the line. Take flight. Oh shit. Ah. 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 Whirling snow. Yeah. Ah. Over here. Let the magic begin. Shine down. Allow me. Oh metal. come on. Take flight. Illusion shattered. This is it. Ooh. After all that, though, as expected, the mastermind isn't here. Huh. That's right. Now let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the opera house. So let's go back, drive back to opera para ma solve na natin tong kaso na to. Nadia, we're back. Uh, as expected of my partner. I just knew you'd re- Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of- It's all right, Monsieur Nivellet. Given their confidence- Okay. So let's review everything. No, 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 no. Right. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. Huh? We've investigated your lair. We already know- Everything. After your lover, Vinier, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel, this information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, 
Do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> you fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to- Your determination! <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise- Do you think? Do you really th Pay attention to you? <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with me? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, they said there's no way a human being can turn into water. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. While turning up, Vignier is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she go, but I'm not from this blasted place. So I... Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles. The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guard! Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me! Vignier! Please, Vignier! At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel... Fine by me. I was in a bad... Traveler, please submit all the... Okay. So I explain everything. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. Aww. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research, with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina de Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina de Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Varche expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Varche attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case, using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the Primordial Sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Varche's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. Okay, set it now. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Vache is. Hatul natin kay Mr. Vache. I. Guilty. Guilty. <coughs> Guards, take the shay away. Good. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the Siri. We really Gun. just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice. He's hurt so many innocent people, and now he's kind of huh. Are you okay? 
Yeah. <laughs> Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrong since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some biz- Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Mm. Oh, okay. what now? According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict- Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. All right, You're all not right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that the guilty party has been identified, and thus we now turn to the oratrice mechanic. Okay, may sana naman tayong kasi naharapin, kitchil. Hmm. According to the judgment of the oratrice mechanic Danalise Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is... Atol ng nagkot. Court of Suprema Kait. Killed I Guilty. Guilty? Fuck it! Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui? But weren't the charges about the same yeah, among heartbreak and hawk? No matter what else he's guilty of, it should... The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique Danalise Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the guards. Please take the suspect into... Okay, cutscene. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! Thank you for me, skill. Uh, oh, For me, chill. Hmm, Jan. Padi, padi, mag proceed sa phase three. I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception, all I do is follow court procedure. As for why the oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Uh, why? Well, I, I don't know what happened. What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? <clears throat> My dearest citizens, did you don't tell me? You but the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. However, given the state of thing and <laughs> of course, if you thought child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Everything he's all shall be revealed in time. Now, having said that, although I So she chose to make her escape after all, did uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she hmm. She probably just put on that however, please be assured. Alright. Even after all, 
Uli po, ito po si Ash Alban ng laging magpap... So, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! Boy! Traveler! Hey! Traveler! Ah, uh, man! Marcel! What are you doing? Stop resisting Mar arrest! Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list! No, 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 wait! I, I just want to ask the Traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. Go on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. Uh, really? You, you, you did? You were sure? You met her? The Fountain of Lucine? Then... Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just what? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Why should we give him what he wants? This request, is it worth- Of course! Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. Well, they be very well. Your Honor. I will okay. go with him. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Wawa ka niyo si Marcel pa, tapos si pa dala sa fountain. Para makausap yung ocean na yan. Is this the place? You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Yeah, I need Vache. Ah! Yes, that's it. So you heard it too. In here, it's me. Vache. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, wait! Be careful! Hey, wait! Vinye, is that you? It's me, Vache. Vinye. Vache, why did you come? Didn't I? You. You look a lot. It's been more than twenty years. Been eighty-seven for over seven years. Twenty years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back. Oh, I must be dreaming, Vinye. You are my everything. I really don't know how I. But Vache. If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and pro If not for you, I if not for you, I would at least have been able. It's all because of your selfishness. But you wait. You are not. You're right. I am not. The Every woman who died by your hand, as our bodies dissolved, our consciousnesses, our thoughts circulated endlessly. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm AZ. The only one I am not is Vignier. Why? But then, where is Vignier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. If this is what you get for your selfishness, but did you ever consider whether she'd... I, um, I... You are a liar. A heart. The only thing you are not is the from the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged. No, yeah. You still don't understand. But on top of that, she she said that because she knew that if you did come here. We will show no mercy to you, Vache. 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 Like a blockbuster horror movie. Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. Huh. Well met, partner. Oh, now I yeah. knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. Oh, Thank you, hey, men in our box. It's been a few days. 
Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? <sighs> it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips between Poisson and the court since then. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court, all attended. Ah, so his name's definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. It's been the dearest... <laughs> that blasted stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well, maybe it'd be uh, more accurate to say I knew she would be there, there could release and there was no way she'd now just let her me now. go. Huh? So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steamboat? Yeah. Way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness, Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. To be fair though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh yeah, she told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wish has finally come true too! Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the Opera House with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to! We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure! Oh, and in other news, I also took Clarand out for a meal. Are you two on better terms now? Mm. While you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, <laughs> there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Oh, that's great! Paimon also thought Clorand wasn't actually a bad person. <laughs> anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, Perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Oh, actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. What? What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him to this day. That includes me, too. Miss Navia. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we also think Callus is a really admirable person. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. And in that case... Yeah, you're right. Huh. This is where my father's grave is. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for... a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait... That figure... It can't be! Hmm? Isn't that Durvalet? Why would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? No... Mm hmm... Hmm... My apologies. Uh, Don't... Sorry about... Oh, uh, I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still... In that case... I will stop apologizing for now. Hmm... In any case... Hmm. There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that... No, oh, rather than... Which is also why I did... I believe that, that Mr. Callus proved me up, if not for his sack. Mr. Callus made the choice, and in the end, a justice that's higher... So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callus. This regret has filled me. That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula. Thank you so much for your heart. Uh, so you're actually sorry about that. <sighs> Didn't I just? Ah, 
Ah, so Navian. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? Huh? Oh, Paimon did not call me. Paimon, anyway, Nervalette is still standing around there. Oh, it's you two. Did Miss... Mm -hmm. We ran into Navia. I see, I see. Uh... Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine. And it would be my pleasure. Hmm. Alright. Anyway. So, gusto ko lang makausap si Fokiller, pero nirefuse siya. Naanap mo ba kung saan yung sightings ng ni Aether? Pati ni Lumine? Your sibling, another blonde-haired traveler. If he ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure he followed up. Is there anything else? I My apologies. My investigation. However, I still believe... <gasps> For many years, I... As a divinely... Not only can I... Which is all to say... <gasps> I was not aware... In any case, I... Based on Farin... While we do intend... If we did... If you ask Paimon... Is there anything... Lang, lang. Very well. It will, it will soon be time for me to leave this. You really are. St Crime and villainy do not have the day off, and so. All right, all right, huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. 